But first tonight, beach concession concerns. We've learned dozens of health code violations were discovered at the snack bars of three Rhode Island state beaches last month. Miss Squamacut State Beach in Westerly and both Scarborough and Roger Wheeler State Beaches in Narragansett. Those concession stands are all run by a company owned by David Caprio, who stepped down this week as Rhode Island's Democratic Party chairman. Well, today we learned that the violations have been resolved, but we wanted to know more about what went wrong and what's been done to get those concession stands back up to code. Okay, so this is uh, the latest inspection. I was with Ernest Julian, the man who oversees food safety in Rhode Island, as he received the latest inspection report. That can result in a problem over time, but no major issue right now. Three beach concession stands, the ones at Misquamacut, Roger Wheeler, and Scarborough beaches, had dozens of food safety violations after a July 2nd inspection. The report lists many, many issues. That includes meat thawing in stagnant water and a foul odor coming from a grease trap. But Julian told me these weren't major issues and they never had to close the stands. New places, you get new management, you get teenagers often you know, working in the kitchens, there are mistakes and procedures aren't in place yet. So that's why we do opening inspections and that's why we go back a lot in the beginning to make sure that things are under control. Yes, there's new management at these snack bars, and the management has come under scrutiny. That's because the state awarded the contract to run these stands to former Democratic Party chair David Caprio. Caprio resigned as chair this week as state police investigate how Caprio won the bid. Julian said Caprio has been responsive with his office, and the former party chair has corrected the problems. Is it mm -hmm. safe to eat at beach concession stands at yeah. these three beaches? Yes, it is. You know, at this point in time, they've done everything that needs to be done. There's no uh, major hazards to health there at this point in time. And I reached out to David Caprio this morning for a response to both the state police investigation, also to these snack bar violations, and so far, no response.